Hey guys, so this video is going to be the my best and favorites of everything in 2016 and um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a three-part video, um, hair, skincare, and then beauty because I have a lot of stuff to talk about so I'm probably going to split it up into three things. So um, if you want to see my favorite and everything that I think is the best products of 2016 then keep watching this video. Okay, so the first um, section I guess I'm going to call it that I'm going to start off with is going to be natural hair products. So, and I have, all, if I'm looking over here, it's because all my products and everything is over here. So, the first thing that I'll start off with is this. This is the Carol's Daughter um, Hair Milk Refresher Spray. And it's kind of like a curl revitalizer. You just spray it on your curls and your curls come back to life. It's moisturizing. Um, it makes my hair soft. It doesn't make it frizzy. Um, use it on my hair today. I need to, um... It's not time for me to go and wash my hair, but once my curl starts to um, frizz up and loses its texture kind of, then I can tell that I need to do something. But this helps me with all of that. And it just says that um, it's a nourishing and conditioning um, refresher spray for curls, coils, kinks, and waves. Um, it has agave, sweet almond, and wheat protein in it. And um, what else does it say? No alcohol, no parabens, no petroleum, no mineral oil, and no artificial colors. Um, and you can spray it on, it says spray evenly on dry style hair to reactivate the curls, which it does. Um, and then you can use your fingers to kind of put your curls into whatever kind of place that you want them to be in. But this definitely helps me on the days where my curls are looking just sad, dry, and just dead. So I put this on my hair, um, every morning or maybe every other morning, um, just to kind of moisturize them and give them a little bit of shine and just have them looking healthy. Next, I will talk about the Shea Moisture um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength and Grill and Restore Leave-In Conditioner. It's just this right here. And this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners ever. Um, the first time I used it, somebody used it on my hair. It wasn't actually me using it on me. But um, after she used it on my hair, she gave me a twist out. And the next morning when I took my twist, or a couple days later when I took my twist out, oh my gosh, my hair was so moisturized. Like, I was surprised because normally my hair is thick and I have like a very kinky type of curl. So it's hard for, um, I need products that have a whole bunch of moisture in it. Because otherwise it's not going to get into all my kinks and everything. This, this did that for me. Um, it says it has shea butter, shea butter, peppermint, and keratin in it, and then it's for natural, natural, chemically processed, or color, color treated, or heat styled hair. Um, and I do have some heat damage in my hair, so this definitely helped put some moisture back into all of that. I love this product. Like, and, and it comes in a jar, which it did come in a pump or like a bottle or something, so I can squirt it out into my hands. Cause I don't like having to like dip it in there and then when I'm in the shower washing my hair and then it's just it's just hard so I did wish that um it did come in a bottle or a pump just so it would be easier but this is an amazing product um also I like the um I don't have it with me because I'm on Christmas break right now so I'm at my dad's house and I don't of course I couldn't take like every single product that I liked but um the shampoo I'll insert a picture uh, um, of it but the shampoo version of this that is amazing as well and I have a problem with a lot of the shampoos that I get um, just because I want them to have moisture but I also want it to cleanse my hair and usually the ones that I find it's either one or the other it's either too moisturizing and then it starts to get um, add buildup in my hair or it's not enough moisturizing and it strips my hair it makes it too dry and it's just it's hard to find um, a good mix between them both um, but that shampoo it is amazing. It smells amazing. It adds moisture. It cleanses my hair. Um, doesn't add buildup. It takes, if I do have buildup in my hair, it takes all of that out. It's just an amazing product. Um, next, I will go into the Diva Curl One Condition Decadence. Um, I did get this later on in the year, but when I got it, like, I wish I would have got it earlier. Like, it says that it's an ultra moisturizing milk conditioner. And it says, do you have curly or super curly hair that craves extra moisture? Then this is just what you need. 
Um, it doesn't have any bad stuff in it. Um, the ingredients on it, it says like what the actual, like you know how the ingredients have all those big words and it's like what the heck is that? Um, next to the big words it says like what it is in easier terms I guess. And it's not tested on animals. Um, it says that you just apply it to wet hair, use your fingers to detangle your curls. Um, it's just an amazing product. It's very moisturizing. It it doesn't add buildup, but it keeps your hair soft. It smells good. It's just amazing. Um, between this one and the Shea Moisture Run, I don't know which one I like better. Like I love them both equally. These are my go-tos. Um, this Diva Curl is expensive, but most of their products, um, you don't need a lot to get the effect of it. Um, just a little dollop and I know how most of us curly girls it's like mm, you said dime size amount okay I'm gonna do a big old quarter like but no like if it says use a small amount use a small amount because a little bit goes a long way especially with the deeper curl products I feel like they're very concentrated and um, especially for the price I'm happy that you don't need a lot to get the full effect of it um, next with the um, diva curl line again um, is the no poo decadence and it's a zero lather shampoo um, and it's ultra moisturizing um, milk cleanser just like the conditioner. I don't want to call it a shampoo, it's like a cleansing conditioner kind of. Because it's not a shampoo because it doesn't lather up, but it cleanses your hair. So like a cleansing conditioner, pretty much. Um, and this is for like the curlier, super curly ones that want some more moisture just like the other one. It's just... Cause I tried the no poo, the original no poo with, um, not the delight, not the decadence, just the normal one. And that one was good too, but it didn't give me as much moisture as I would like. This one did it. This one definitely did it for me. Um, it has no sulfates, parabens, and it's silicone free. So that's good. I just love it. Um, between this one and the Shea Moisture one, I'll probably have to say I do like this one better. Just because I feel like it adds more moisture and it cleanses my hair still. Um, the Shea Moisture one is still good. And this one is more expensive. So if you are more on a budget, then I do suggest the Shea Moisture one. Just because that's more cost effective and more cost friendly. But this one, if you're looking for moisture and cleansing and just everything on point, this one, definitely. And like I said earlier, um, I am on Christmas break right now. So I don't have all the products with me. But um, I did make a list of everything that I loved and didn't have here at my dad's house. Um, so the Blueberry Bliss, it's a gel. Um, and for edge controls, um, a lot of them tend to have water in them. So then it doesn't actually control my edges. It just kind of like slicks them down for a little bit and then they'll wave back up and just won't be, just won't be snatched. And I want my edges to be snatched. That's the purpose of an edge control to snatch your edges but the blueberry bliss um by curls i believe it is um that one is a thick gel it smells good it lays your edges down it's it's so like i tried the um olive oil one and that one just mm, i i wasn't feeling that one it like yes it laid it down but it's like my edges would curl back up with the blueberry bliss that one would slick them down yes your edges would still be wavy but they wouldn't come back up put your scarf on and set it down and it would stay like that all day it just it's amazing it's amazing especially when you lay it down with the um the toothbrush look and you can get that at target um target does carry curls now and some walmart to do as well and it's not too expensive either so if you're looking for a good edge control definitely the curls blueberry bliss and they also have one um in passion fruit um i think i have the one in passion fruit fruit not blueberry bliss though both of them smell good so it's just up to you i got my mom hooked on it like love this stuff oh and i'll insert a picture of the products that i'm talking about just so you can see what it looks like because i know me just speaking words um and telling you about the product isn't enough so i'll go ahead and insert the pictures as i talk about it pretty much the next is my favorite detangler um, I don't remember the name of it just because it's in like, you know how most products the name is memorable or the brand is memorable and it's like, it's just catchy. 
this one not so much so it's hard for me to like if I see it then I'll know what it is but I'll try to find the picture of it um but this detangler like I love it like it made my hair care or curly hair routine so much easier I can literally spray because it's in a spray bottle um and it's kind of a conditioner too so you can use it as the leave-in conditioner and as the detangler and you just put it in your hair um, don't spray too much though because it is like a white product so um, if you spray too much it will out add build up that's what I've learned using it and then you'll be able to see it so um, just a couple of sprays um, separate your hair into that into sections maybe two sprays per section and maybe wait like five minutes and you'll be able to comb through your hair like nothing has ever been able to do that for me and I have like 4a 4b hair the front of my hair is more 3c and then like I have three textures in my hair depending on the season my hair just does whatever it wants to do which is fine but it's just hard to manage sometimes but this detangler oh my gosh it made everything so much easier for me like it was a savior for me um I don't have any other detanglers to compare it to just because this one is the best um like I will be able to finger detangle my hair with this like it is amazing I don't know what else to say about it like and it, you can get it in the beauty supply store so it's not expensive it's amazing and because since and since you don't need that much um, product when you spray it on your hair it will last a long time so it's just amazing and for an oil, I did choose the black castor oil. Um, I've tried a whole bunch of oils this year. I've tried the coconut, jojoba, shea butter. I've tried grape oil, like olive oil. I've tried every single oil, at least I would like to think so. Maybe not every single oil, but most of them. And the black castor oil is my favorite just because it's a thicker oil. And I feel like it with coconut oil, it'll last in my hair for that day, but it doesn't last for the whole week for me the black castor oil after I do the lock method my hair is just so happy with me once I use it um it's thick so I feel like it kind of mimics the the oil in my hair already and it just makes my hair moisturized and shiny and it it's just amazing um I'll try to insert some benefits over here of the um of black castor oil just so you can know some more about it but as like a product standpoint um, it is inexpensive you can get it at Sally's beauty supply stores everywhere um, it's a thicker oil so a little bit does go a long way with the majority of the products that I'm talking about um, it's just it's just amazing um, the other hair or the oil, other oils that I used they were thinner so in with my really really curly hair and really really kinky hair it didn't really do much for it but the black castor oil just it was just amazing and for my last product it is the um, diva curl super cream um it's a coconut curl styler and it looks like this i do have the small bottle and um with the other diva curl products that i talked about i did get them all in a set for 40 dollars, which is pretty good considering that one of the big ones is $22 so I got one two and three for forty dollars so I basically got this for free and four dollars off of one and it came with a scarf too a satin scarf that I can tie my hair down with at night so um but this cur co this coconut curl styler super cream it says that if you want to soften define tame your frizz twist out switch it up your look or switch up your look um this rich coconut oil infused styler does it all um i did switch my hair from a wash and go to a um up to a bun and then i switched it to this style um last night and it like it just made it easier for me it does define my curls it helps um my curl it's hard for me sometimes just because my curls are kinkier so when I detangle my hair normally I lose that curl pattern as well after right after I detangle it I did a new method which I'll probably do um my a new wash and go video um just so you can see kind of what I do but I use all of these three products the diva girl products and it made my curls pop 
like I've never seen my curls like that and I've been natural for almost three years now and I've never seen my curls pop like that which was pretty amazing for me I was really happy but this coconut curl styler is just defines your curls tames your frizz helps you switch from style to style it's everything I will once I run out of this I will be getting the bigger bottle of it love it love it love it love it so those are all of my best of 2016 natural hair products um stay tuned for part two and three of the best of 2016 um this probably won't be that long of a video just because i didn't have that many um natural hair products but i hope you guys liked watching this video and make sure you subscribe um like this video and leave a comment let me know what your um favorite natural hair products of 2016 is i definitely want to try some more products for my hair into that or 2017 so um let me know what i should try out so yeah i'll see you guys in part two and three